Hello, Lauren and Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. We have a brand new course this year at our Werribee venue and today we thought we'd give you a chance to cheat a little bit before you arrive. I would rate this our hardest course that we've set over the past 20 years. The proof of this that so far in the first two months of 2021, 16 out of 20 remains on top of our leaderboard with nobody at this stage hitting 15. Let me give you the heads up on how to shoot the course with the aid of our shot cam. First up on station one is a simple incomer from the A machine, similar to what you would have just shot in the warm up session. Next we have a right to left crosser. It appears from the H machine and is perfectly shot with just a little lead to the left of the target. And try and break it here in front of the safety cage. And finally, both targets shot together. On station two, first up, another easy incomer from the B machine. Shoot it the same way as you hit the incomer in the warm up. The second target is a ground burner. We have something similar most years. Here's how to shoot it. Just start your shotgun at the blue cone. And for the pair, you'll shoot the low one first and then shoot the incomer as it peaks. On station three, the incomer here is initially a blind shot. The C machine throws its target that appears behind the bamboo fence and fades off to the right. Let it come into range and again, shoot it at its apex. The second target here appears over your head. If you shoot on a day with a northerly breeze, it can be a little tricky. Bend your back and start the gun at about 60 degrees. Call pull, wait for a couple of seconds, and shoot slightly under it. Oh. And the pair is the overhead first and the second target requires you to bring the gun down and to the right to hit it before it starts to drop. Station four is on our platform where the fun really begins. The incomer here is the K machine right in front of you and it sort of simulates a station eight target on the skeet field, but on steroids. The target will fly straight back over your head. Shoot this with as much instinct as possible and don't let it get too close. Here's how we do it. The next target at station four is the J machine underneath your feet. It's simply a duplicate of the warm up target, but once again, it's on steroids. Start with the gun nice and high above the horizon so you can cut it off very quickly. And the pair is the going away target first and one second after you fire at the first target, the second one will be released. So get the gun back to the K machine as quick as you can or you will run out of time. Our 
last station is averaging about one out of four for the first two months of the year. It's been a heartbreaker. The first target is the M machine on the hill above you. It comes down and nearly lands at your feet. Because the shotgun spreads in shot pattern when it leaves the barrel, it is a good idea to shoot this target sooner than later. If you let it come all the way down the hill, you may see it better, but it will be like shooting it with a rifle instead of a scatter gun. Let's try it. The next target is tough to see. It's from our L machine and appears around the corner behind this tree. You only have a couple of seconds to shoot it and you will need to shoot slightly in front of it to hit it. Now for this pair, it's the only time that you will shoot the incoming target first, then the harder of the two second. They are both released simultaneously. And there's our 20 targets. Good luck in your quest to make our leaderboard. Remember, if you can hit the lot, you can come back and shoot for free. We look forward to seeing you at the range real soon.